body quad series one today. Our first exercise is a deep pocket squat. So if you can, try to rack your weights up on your shoulders here. Now when you do this, you can rest the weights on the shoulders, but you do want to try to have the elbows lifted here. If you're in a traditional squat position, my legs are a little bit wider than my hips here, knees facing forward, elbows lifted here. And I'm going to go ahead and squat down, allow those knees to bend, let the hips drop here, and then push back up. So you want a nice big press on the way up here. If those start to be a little bit too heavy, weights can always go down by your sides here. You can always modify by reducing your weight or making your range of motion smaller. Right, so our second exercise that we're going to be doing is a crossover lunge. And actually, I think I'll keep these. So I'm going to hold the weights down by my sides here. With the traditional reverse lunge, you take a step back and then you drop the knees down and up here, keeping the feet in line with the hips. With a crossover lunge, you're going to be taking this, the foot behind you directly behind that front foot. So you can cross the line, the midline here of the body, or as needed, take it out wider to modify. So you'll take a step back to do one to that reverse lunge. You're crossing the midline of the body and standing back up. We'll alternate sides here. So from this angle here, you want to watch the front knee, that you're not pushing that knee beyond your toes. Again, weight or op weights are optional here. You can hold them down by your side, or you can hold it in at your chest. So that's what I'll be doing for my third exercise. A lateral lunge here. So you want to give yourself space side to side here. Start in the middle, start tall here. You take a large step out to the side. The knee tracks forward as you drop down into that side lunge, and then the other direction here. As you do this, again, whenever you're doing a squat, you want to make sure you have a flat back and allow the hips and the weight to fall back into your heels. Now our challenge exercise, we're just going into an elevator squat here. So you can go heavier on your weight. Again, you can always hold two weights down by your sides. You can rack your weights or you can come back to holding one weight at your chest. So I'm going to take my legs just a little bit wider and turn my toes out a little bit just to focus on a little bit different area of the body. Now with your elevator squat, similar, you can come as deep as you can into your squat. You're only coming up halfway, back down, all the way up. So you're doing um, full range, half range, and full. 